aggression on the B side of the map and not spotting anyone that deep as well, or at least getting that deep, suggests that the retake A might not be the standard strat in this case. It's certainly an A open bomb site, but not A main. They've pushed beyond A. There it Florian is. With the Deagle, finds Oscar. That's a great start. It absolutely oh. is. It's going to be Nico now picking up that USP. Puts a silencer back on for good measure as they will commit. The smoke's down towards highway. The next kill will be very important indeed. It's rain to strike. That's going to be a bomb going down. Rops can't do anything. Nico. His nemesis finds yet another headshot. It's a five on two. Chris J and Sunny left looking at sixes and sevens here. They're absolutely out of the round. Chris J, nine HP. He'll be dropped momentarily. He'll get one consolation prize perhaps, but guard the CTs. Yes, indeed, Sunny will be up there. Baited in by Oscar. The idea is Oscar will take one shot, presumably get a kill, fall back towards a bomb site, and hopefully set the scene for Sunny to be undetected. This Guardian though to open things up towards the B bomb site. They'll commit and it's just one player ready and waiting. That's Chris J flashed off. Great flashbang. Smoke is good as well. He's in a lot of trouble here. Can't find the angle on the left because he knows they've bypassed underneath the heaven. That's what he was hoping to get instead. Oh! Try and stay alive. Self-preservation can't do it. Kerrigan over the edge of the headshot. And that allows the bomb to get on top of the platform already. Already Safe. now sports back off. So this time FaZe not only gets the pistol, they'll get the first gun round. So 4 nothing on their map choice. Now sports definitely have their work cut out for them. They certainly do, Matthew. Five on three. Rain is taking no prisoners, though, as he takes down Sunny. A key scalp to take. Now the AWP sits towards the squeaky door. Sticko boosting up. You don't see this boost very often, I have to say. So it'll be up to Sticko now to try and hold them off. Nico's coming though. He should be taken down. Oscar with a very strong angle. I can't imagine a while when Nico takes him. There it is. Oscar finds yet another. Rain seems to know that boost could be happening right now. Pre fires the angle somewhat. These are actually very important frags. If Faze can just find one more, which they do, they set themselves up tremendously well as Oscar will stay alive. It worked heartbreak recently with those sort of results. QB fire comes to mind and ECS finals as well. Close for no scar every single time. Just to push up, smoke down to cover off. He's hold the boxes. The fact that they also have Rops toward the vents means he's got a play in this, a trade potential, but Rops is occupied. He's busy, he's busy with Sunny, and they certainly shut down mid altogether. It's just Nico. But it still is a one versus two. Yeah, he has a chance within this one. Let me tell you. Oscar and Rops, though, two formidable opponents. Now we'll go back to useless. It's actually one versus four. It's a bit of a. It's true. We were getting thrown off by the HUD because Sunny was also in his picture. I was going to say, where did yeah. the second trade come in in middle? I didn't yeah, see it. I was going to say, like, I didn't see a trade. Misleading. But then it is a one versus four. I so. I'm just a puppet. I, talk, I do what I'm told. Yeah. Well, Nico. Got in there with Rain as well. They'll watch for the flash through because Oscar AWP is going to go aggressive, but Guardian's ready for it. And Oscar goes down early. The first stop gone. So Chris, aggressive last time over toward B. He's going to do the same thing, having not been spotted that time. That means Rops is going to leave him to his own devices because they need to get back toward A. That first pick is an invitation for FaZe. They want to take it. They want to push the site. Molotov behind Forklift, but the smoke there as well will also allow them to dance in around it until such time that Kerrigan gets so deep in the site that Sticko has nowhere else to go, wow. and Guardian takes down Rops. What a clean entrance. Yeah, beautiful stuff there. You can see everything's on point. It's a nice strat out of the book. One smoke towards Highway, Molotov towards the Forklift. Coming out together, the flashbang's time perfection. Nico orchestrates it all from the squeaky door to set his teammate up perfectly and they can spawn you can beat them there at the very start and it's an a push here four players committed and nico knows at the locker room right now he'll hold them off for now but oscar will strike first sunny pushing all the way up from squeaky and chris underneath though could be extremely solid for sunny he takes the first kill immediately on rain that's going to call the aggro away but they trade it back and sunny Interestingly, left alive with not much else in the play. Chris gets found. That's a brilliant pick from Guardian, but it may not matter because Sticko still gets Olaf. Kerrigan deep inside of B trying to salvage something in this. He'll stay put, but little does he know that Rops has actually let him go and is perfectly aligned, therefore, to take out Guardian. They have considered the possibility that Checker's still a danger. Guardian, good find to Sticko as well. Rops is waiting for him to walk in. Finally, he will get him down. The fact that he molotov that off made me think, that, or at least suggested, that Guardian was going to take the dual heads up. Bomb dropped. Kerrigan. Far too easy, I'm afraid. He, he gets gifted a kill as Oscar jumps toward him. 
Bobs waiting behind the flames right now. Again, will recover the bomb, but can't quite get the timing there. Nice idea. If you get that Molotov a little bit deeper, you could have caused some real trouble that time towards the main entrance, but shut down both times. Sonny sneaks back out this time. He's not molotov off, and they've got position to the site. Try and work it back to find a wall as well. Smoke down. We'll need for him to push it. Gladly. Smoke it off and stay put, and he took out Olaf, so it's just Guardian. There's no need to get worried of the threat. Contain, contain, contain the bomb down inside of the site. Now Sports looking to find round three, cut the lead in half. Go for the boost. They know Guardian's going to be trying to stay around to get any gun down that he can. He's got to save his AWP in this truthfully, but fancies his chances at least. He knows that they are weak. And strapped for cash on the other side as well. to admire the discipline. I do indeed. He knows that if a mistake is made, he can at least cause some damage to the finances of Mouse Sports here. Bomb down in the middle. Rops coming in behind him. He's locked him in. There's nothing Guardian can really do to escape here. But he probably knows that. Five players alive. If he can find even two kills here, it would be worth it. There's no chance to save. Trying to bait him into some shots. This. I think I actually just hit Tico trying to wall. To where Guardian might be, but it works in the end. He backs off, they get the kill. So all five alive. Too much in their commitment toward A. Smokes down. Sunny stuck again. It's not this time burning. He's already down to 14. Last time Kerrigan was easily able to take him in that position. Stick goes ready for it. He goes back out. What a job! As he shuts down three and Sunny stays alive because of it, he will inevitably go down to Guardian. The fact that Rops fell as well does certainly make things interesting, but the HP is low enough on both phase players. That all they really need to do on the mouse sport side is cover the choke points, cover the cross. And with Olaf still holding back toward mid, or at least was, they're going to desperately run this back over toward B. Great work by Sticko. Very controlled with the AK, but is it enough? Three on two, Olaf Meister, and Guardian low, but it doesn't matter. That's the B bomb site open for business. Luckily, though, for all mouse sports, no smokes will be deployed. Olaf Meister looks for the cross. Oscar AWP nails the shot! Plucks Guardian out of the air. Very well read. Two versus one now. Olaf Meister trying to recover the bomb. There it is. Ten seconds remaining. Can't fake this one out. Has to go for it. Oscar will surely wait for his teammate. Here's Oscar jumping in. You said he would wait. That's a full play because Olaf, he could easily have taken him down. Somehow it works. He's looking for the second player instead. And now another round mouse. That gives them three in a row, four in the last five. So they've certainly changed the momentum of this game. Absolutely. But with the bomb plant. Patient. And second time he's gone down early with the AWP. You can see it. Ooh, how does that not hit? I have no idea, but that one does. Guardian looking towards the boost position finds Sunny. Five on three now, but Sticko has been great in this A. Bomb side not good enough, I'm afraid. Nico will take him down. This is looking like a very convincing round for FaZe. These are the rounds that are working, man. The defaults for FaZe, they're completely outskilling mouse sports in every facet of the map. When they go for these fast set pieces and try and force the issue every single round like they were before, it seems that like mouse sports are more coordinated. They're very good at the crossfires and holding off the set pieces. This is where FaZe are doing the most tremendous work, and I feel like they keep this pace, they can run away with this half. But Mass Ball is still with plenty of cash, and Olaf Meister giving us a bit of fun there. He knows what he's doing. Oh, he knows what he's bad. doing. <laughs> that's exactly what Rops is. He's doing that for the camera, I assure you. Absolutely. Well, he's just lifting his mouse. Yeah. So Chris works in. Nowhere to go. Rain takes him down. Phase retain the advantage. I'll fight off from it. Right, take flashbang coming in, trying to push the CTs back. Oscar flashed in the face now. Beast split looking very likely. Carrigan smokes off CT spawn. All of them. It's a great shot. Rops left at just the SMG on the bomb side now. They know where he is. He has to deploy a smoke and buy himself some time. Nades coming in. Can he do anything about this? No! Rain takes him down, and that should be the round complete. You're not going for this retake if you're on a CT side right now. Oscar needs to find like a wall back. That's the only way they can really get into it. Well, he's tried, but he's going to back off. They have to as well. As you mentioned, it couldn't get there in time at all. As soon as Chris went down, Rops. Very little in the argument. And this is about to be only a second round That's to just... be accumulated. So $1,900 injected to the economy of the CTs. That's not enough at this point in time. Just to know, that's a textbook default from phase there. Very slow at the very beginning. If you don't get any aggression from the CTs, you bait out the utility, show a little bit of presence. Then, mid-execution, a couple of smokes, Molotovs to the choke points, 
and try and get that control. Once you have that, your teammates are getting ready towards the B bomb site. You pincer in together. You start hitting the shots. Pound for pound, the FaZe Clan have got more firepower available to them. Oscar surely can't save the orb once again. Flashbang's good. Down he goes. But Kerrigan just missing the opportunity as the smoke blooms to find the shot toward highway. Nico does open up the frags against Sunny. You can see solid Guardian. when the crossfires are in place. This is talking, saying, wait for me to train and see what I can do with this boost. Look at Chris, though. The reason they're so A-sided right now is he's actually pushed down all the way toward T-spawn. It's very true. Is that USB out, walking a little bit faster. Guardian still waiting for a mistake to be made, saying he can see above the smoke. If anyone shows himself a quad, he'll take them down. The toughest part about this Chris J flank is that if he gets aiming, that's brilliant, but they still have to worry about highway. It's wide open. Oscar realizes it. That'll give them some information. It also slows phase a little bit further, and that's beneficial to Chris, or is it? Nico's already got him down, so the flank is gone. And on top of that, now B becomes a Falling massive back. problem because, exactly, they have to fall back because the rotation's gonna go the other way. If they're that far pushed out, he knows that he's gathering information. At least they greet them in the middle, halfway there. But Nico again is the one to find the frag. He's now up to three, the only three in this round for his team. Yes. Round, yeah, four. Let's go. Looking forward, and he's got it as well. The ace to close out the half, 10-5. Waving. He will fall back safe. He didn't take any damage. In the hole, the tight corner on the approach, and they're making a ton of noise. His direction, Chris finds him, though. That's Ooh. massive. As look at the shot from Robs. He's followed that up, too. Kerrigan's gone down. Just as quick. Two bad shots. I'll rotate back to just make sure the flank is covered off, and that's probably a good decision as Olaf's working at least to middle. Nico smoked off, desperate for something to go their way. Bomb has been planted. So they might consider saving their armor here. We'll see what they go for. They'll at least float out the idea of going for the retake initially, but it is five on two. Nico, USP in hand, sits in towards heaven. Seeing if there's anyone giving out their position here. The round out of their grasp at this point. Nico with the kit, remember, as well. Olaf will find one. Now takes the headshot, that might be the end of Trying to do anything he can, the bomb will be going off. The armor at all, the defuse kit, Nico drops in. All of my step will be dropped by Rops eventually, by the looks of things. Rops looks into his mid warehouse and should be able to find the final shot. Very good work by him, three kills in total, make it four actually. Rops Oh, with the deagle. Uh oh. Just barely gets to the angle where he can spot Oscar. What a fast shot. Yeah, he's not done just yet, it seems, either. Spamming off towards the squeaky door. Some damage can be done there, but still the advantage for Mouse Sports. With the weaponry they have, it's still a very difficult round for FaZe here. Five on four is a stop. Two Mac 10s. Chris J and Sticko thrown into the bomb site first. Looks like they have to commit towards it. They've got no map presence whatsoever. Nico. Molotov out of position. Good work from Mouseboard so far. Eradicating risk. That's going to be Olofmeister. Oh. Surely dead now. Somehow he stays alive. He's only got 15 HP. Double Molotov. Oh. Just in and then look at what happens after. It's Nico's turn on the Deagle. It's down to two versus two. Thankfully, gun still for Mouseboards. And Rops is compensating for the losses. He has four HP. Excuse me. He has two HP. Sonny has four. At least they've considered the possibility of Rain working in from behind them. UMP picked up, and he's going to head the other direction. Instead, Bomb is planted. So the smoke down forces him to go towards highway. He has not got a kit. He knows how tantalizingly low they are in terms of HP. Smoke deployed towards the bomb site. One player at CT spawn, the other at the forklift. 180 split, though, so even if Rain finds the first one, they're going to have to turn and react. He hasn't spawned toward four. You see them instead with the low HP. Oh, the spray's got to go oh. to Deagle, and that's just enough for Rops. He gets it. It looked like right, one of the smokes will land towards heaven. Act 10 will come in. Here's the response from the CTs. Can the T's make any sort of entrance yet? The position from Nico. Fire straight down on them, and then as the door opens, he's already got his vision fixed. That direction finds another. Multiple frag round, three this time in total as Rops desperately shuts the door and tries to run away, but good luck. And a one versus four, a minute to go. Absolutely. Rops won't be able to do much about this one. UMP in hand, like we said. The set piece coming in. Very common for Mouse Sports to deploy that sort of round when you have what we call the bone. Push through. Oh, oh how does what? Rops not find that one first rain? Partially blinded as well, it seemed. At least the animation suggested so. Oh, so it was intended to blind up. Rob's actually went deeper, so somehow Rain gets away with it. 46 HP, took one shot to the hip. 
Tries again with the advantage. He said, Chris Baum. It's the same tactic they were deploying before, minus one person there. Same smoke's going to be deployed. That one goes on the catwalk. Flashes will go in, try and set up Oscar for a pick here. Olaf Meister waits towards MBK. They have to commit. As we mentioned before, if you have no map presence and you've already deployed your smokes, no fakes are possible. So far, so good, edging their way towards the bomb site. Guardian wasn't that truck originally. Smokes are down anyway, but Olaf still holding off from the fence, sunny on top. Has to be aware of Nico, but he doesn't know he's over toward Quad, wow. and he steps out. Perfect timing. Sunny will put him down, but doesn't matter. He did more than enough in the sight, and now money goes one inside of me. That's going to strengthen B as it was just rain holding, allowing there for the aggression on A. As they work in, he's going to play the smokes to perfection. Oh my goodness, it's Kerrigan to support it and get the third kill. Sticko looks back toward the heavens, at least gets two kills back. Sunny's worked with him. It's dead level. And yeah. the bomb has made it into the site. Somehow, Mouse Sports at least salvaged that because a very desperate situation with the early spray down. Two on two. It seemed like there was a round that was completely impossible for Mouse Sports. Rain and Carrigan getting it done, but then there's a lifeline. Olaf Meister comes in for the flank. Sunny holding towards Jacket. The flashbang's good. It's perfect. Takes him down. Bomb planted. Nico has been such a beast so far. Does he have it in him again to find yet another clutch? Good flash, good read. Not good enough. Stiko's able to step out, still find the shot easily. And it's Mouse Sports' first didn't work. Chris, this time, tantalizingly close to the inside of a smoke, and Kerrigan's actually gone inside of the garage with that smoke, so they're gonna have no idea. He didn't quite spot Chris, but he certainly heard him. No! Oh, that's a massive whiff! Guardian at least compensates, makes up for it, and finds his second. But that could have been done far more cleanly, I'm afraid. Yeah, abysmal scenes from Carrigan there. Run and gun, the M4. Could have even knifed him if he wanted to. Missed the shot. Turns around, taken down. And there will be a chance for Mount Sports here. That round looked like it was over his position. Rain, one of the best aimers in the game, looking towards B Storage now. Stuck in the corner, uses the flashbang, just tries to get out. Not going to be challenging him. Good work, fancy footwork. And as he makes his way back towards Checkers, back up from Guardian, also a headshot. Four on three. Should be a five on three, really, but here we go. Oscar with another chance as he makes his way towards the vents. Looking very good, in fact. Misses oh. the shot as well. Oscar, oh, twice. You have to hit those, especially he's been struggling in this game. Oh. Olaf's position. I, I did Rob spot. I don't think he did. No, no. he's looking to the left. I thought they were going to look to the right. This is so good. Bye-bye. And one. Rob turns, jumps, however. That gives him no chance, and we've got two rounds. The call to get Guardian in position. There is a smoke toward the tree, so that off's not quite in position. I mean, I'm at rain, falls from above, it's got three, and he's looking for the fourth as well. Doesn't want to overcommit, knows Oscar still has to walk into oh the my site. God. He's up to a fifth, and Sonny is all that is left. He will get the one to shut down the ace, but Nico is there, and it's already in. Shot and aggressively, it's Nico instead. It's gonna push through, and that's pretty good because he finds Oscar at the lockers as well after taking down the long shot. Kerrigan is sunny, and it's just Rops. Young Estonians, first time in the playoffs. He's certainly impressed, but it's not been enough. The